Hi everyone. I've been asked to show you how to bend the um, clothes hanger that um, I made my loom out of for my rug, shag rug I made. Uh, you take a clothes hanger and take uh, take it loose up here at the neck of the then you stretch it out as far as you can and you go about, try to find about halfway of your uh, hanger and you take your pliers and you bend right there, about halfway, got it in my camera wire. Um, then you measure, if you want um, this one is about an inch and a half and it'll give a good size shag like from my fingernail so um, this one is an inch and a half so then you uh, bring it on up to the hook on the uh, hanger and you measure an inch and a half. Now this is loose so you have to hold it tight to figure out where you want to cut. The wire uh, about right there. and you cut the wire off. Bend it, break it. <laughs> now that one already had a crook in it, so all I'm going to do is pull that down there. And measure where I need to uh, hook it together. Then I'm going to put a uh, piece of tape on it to hold it real tight. This is... Huh. Um, Gorilla tape. Try to get, um, make it as straight as you can. Now when you wrap your um, bend this down. Okay, there's what you end up with. Okay, when I sew, or when I do the rug, I just wrap my yarn around it. I showed you on the video. You Try to keep it um, as smooth as you can. And I did my yarn wrong. Okay, this is how it goes. And you wrap it around. And you do not tighten this. You 
put it on there loose because you want it to be as close as the same size. And all you do is put this, I would start in the middle of the rug and um, put that under your pedal on your sewing machine and sew right down the middle. After you get to here so far, you can uh, add more. You can fill it up and uh, sew all the way down. Then you can scoot it all up and sew on down, add more and sew on down to the end of your rug, your fabric. That's how you do that. Just bend it, take it up that way, cut it up here and tape it real good so it doesn't fly loose, and put your uh, thread on it and sew it on the machine. And start in the middle because if you start over here, it gets real heavy, and by the time you get over here, you can't hold it under the machine. So if you go in the middle, then go over here and go over here and over here and over here, it sort of keeps it even. It still gets heavy and hard to do. But anyway, now there is the wire. Now, she wanted to know how I made the rug I made. Now, if you want about a half inch shag, which is plenty heavy enough. Mine's <laughs> way too heavy. Um, you can use this also. Wrap it. and then tie it well I can't keep it together here now put up take your yarn in the center real good tight and tie it real good now there's what you have now you can't take it off of this unless you cut it Now, these two are the same size, and that's good for your shag. Okay, you take this one and sew it with your needle and thread on the back side. If you wanted it to last for many years, you could take fishing line, go in, come up around the center of it and go back down in and do your fishing line real real good and tight that it doesn't come loose. Then you can do slide this one up close to that one about, about like that. I'd say an inch apart and tack that one on and then just keep coming down 
and like I say, work from the center out. And doing it with this, you can have different colors, take them off. And my advice is if you're going to make a rug, make a whole bag of these in different colors. If that's, if that's what you choose, different colors. And then when you get ready to make your rug, you can pick um, the blue, the pink. You can pick where you want to put it. So that's how you do that. So there's the rug, and here's the loom I made it on. So this little tool uh, costs nothing, can make um, two shag rugs. And there's probably other things we can come up with to use it for, but anyway, um, I hope you're happy with this. I hope I showed you good enough. Um, um, I use um, painter's cloth or canvas for the backing and uh, like I say just go down with your needle come back and do it and um, tie it real good so that it doesn't come off because if you throw it in a washer uh, they'll come off. Um, mine, I just now took out of the washer. I wrapped mine around my fingers and they were too big. So, I, for me, uh, this is the size I needed. So, anyway, um, I hope you understand what I, I'm do. I did. So, anyway, uh, subscribe and thank you for watching.